body bags were whore lies. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to uh, Monday's edition of Body Bags. Uh, today I'm going to review a film for you called Dark House. This is a film directed by Victor Salva. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Victor Salva. He was the director of Jeepers Creepers and some really bad things. Uh, I'm not going to go into that. But um, basically what this is about, oh, before I even start, uh, this has uh, Tobin Bell in it who is uh, the star of the Saw franchise. Uh, what this film is basically about is a man named Nick DeSanto. Uh, he has the ability to like touch somebody and see if they're going to die and how they're going to die. Uh, he's haunted by that. He doesn't like the fact that he has that ability and he kind of wonders why. Um, he is summoned to an institution to see his mother. His mother's been locked up in, inst in an institution and um, once he gets there, his mother basically tells him the story about his father and she kind of tells him that his father, that he never knew, might possibly uh, still be alive, not dead, and still living in the mansion from the kid, from what uh, Nick DeSanto can remember as a kid, because he always draws this house. He just has no idea of what it's from. Anyway, um, Nick ends up gaining the deed to the mansion, which is called uh, Wormwood. Uh, he sets out to uh, go with a couple of his friends to try to find the house um, so he can try to find if his father is still alive. Um, once he gets to the little town, he hears about a legend about how a river swept over the town and basically destroyed the Wormwood house and that the Wormwood house no longer exists. But there is an urban myth that the house does still exist. People just don't know exactly where it's at. So Nick continues his journey to try to find the mansion. Uh, he runs into a couple state, um, what are they called? <sighs> Preservation-like people, something like that. Anyway... I found it kind of funny that when they run into him that these people are like super nice. Um, Nick tells them exactly what they're looking for and for some strange reason the one guy uh, knows about the house and possibly where it might be. I found it kind of strange that they only met these people for like five minutes and these other people were you know willing to help Nick find this house but of course towards the end of the film it explains that so it kind of you know, it lightens up, lightens it up for you know, being a little more believable. But anyway, um, they come across the house and they come to find out that the house is being guarded by uh, Tobin Bell's character. Uh, he's wielding an axe and he has a gang of other people that kind of look like him. They wear long trench coats and they were, they're wielding axes as well. And basically, they're trying to protect the home and keep Nick and his friends from going inside the house. Uh, and they will kill people if they have to. Uh, there is something demonic inside the house. And that's basically the whole plot. Um, Nick's trying to get in and Tobin Bell and his people are trying to keep them out. Um, I thought it was an okay film. Um, it doesn't really have an original storyline, but it is somewhat original. I did kind of like the twist at the end. I thought it was kind of cool, but um, it's got some decent kills, some decent acting. Um, I do like Tobin Bell in it. I like his character. <clears throat> but uh, the whole reasoning behind uh, Nick's ability to see people die and once you find out what is really behind Nick and his father, um, it was kind of cool. I kind of liked it. Um, I'll probably give this a three. I'm being a little generous because uh, it was like half and half for me, but I'll give it a three. Um, I kind of enjoyed it. I, I would definitely give this one a go. So if you guys see Dark House for rent or if you know, you're know you a buyer and you want to check it out, you know, go ahead, check it out. It's, it's not a bad film. It's uh, pretty decent. 
anyway, that's my uh, review for Dark House, and I'll see you guys next week. Deuces.